Interesting time slot when you were on Woodstock. You were on in the kind of the middle of the night, weren't you? Well, we were promised a prime time on a Saturday night, like nine o'clock. Yeah. Uh, what they didn't tell me is you're going to follow the Grateful Dead. <laughs> um, the best thing I can say about all of that, because they finally have admitted what, well, things went sorely wrong after they hit the stage. Everybody was running late, of course. Right. Hippies had been putting on this thing. And I think the Grateful <laughs> Dead... Those damn hippies. <laughs> hey, anyway, back then, we were all hippies. Come on. Sure. Um, but the Dead didn't go on till about midnight. But what they didn't tell us until the 90s was they had all taken LSD mm -hmm. <laughs> just as they went on stage. Right. And so... Uh, about the middle of their set, it went dead silent. I think, I don't really know what happened because I wasn't watching the stage, I was only hearing. Uh, anyway, they, it was uh, quiet for about an hour and then they started playing again. And so, <laughs> they, I think they, somebody they, figured out how to plug in, you know, right. to an amplifier. <laughs> but anyhow. Maybe, so they were probably playing for an hour but not making any noise. Something like that, they had a great time. Um, and we had to follow that, and so it was literally 2.30 in the morning. I come running out, because this was a big chance. Sure. There was a half a million people there. I come running out, and I look down there, and I see a bunch of people look a lot like me, except they're naked. Yeah. And, naked, yeah. And they're asleep. Yeah. It, they were all kind of piled together. It looked like one of those pictures of the souls coming up out of hell. Yeah. Like uh, <laughs> Dante's Inferno or something, you know. Oh, but they're all, you know, asleep. So we start Sounds rocking like out. Yeah. Me, yeah. <laughs> trying to, you know, in the middle of the night, in the middle of nowhere, trying to get things uh, going here. Finally, I went up to the mic kind of apologetically. We'd played probably five rockers, and I said, well, I hope you're enjoying some of this. We're having a great time up here. We just want you to like us, you know. We're rocking out way out there. About a quarter mile, some guy's flicking his lighter. He says... <laughs> Don't worry about it, John. We're with ya. <laughs> so in front of a half a million people for the rest of my big Woodstock concert, yeah. I played for that guy. Yeah. That's a great story. I'd like to know who that guy is. Right. By now, there's probably a half a million of him. <laughs> yeah.